the one that was supposed to look at it. It's like I can't figure out. Do what? The last day. Good evening. Welcome to the city council meeting of August 22nd. It, Call us to order. <laughs> Madam Clerk, would you read the roll call for me? Mr. Shiland? Yes. Ms. Gray? Mr. Moore? Present. Ms. Reclu? Present. Mr. Shiverdecker? Here. Mr. Stone? Present. Mr. Vaughn? Here. And Mr. West? Yo. All right. Yo. Uh, we have eight council members present. Very good. If you'd rise with me, uh, Pastor Bruce Williamson is with us this evening, and he's going to leave us in our invocation. Thank you, Pastor. Pretty, sir. Our Heavenly Father, since we met last two weeks past, there's been a lot of needs for prayer in and through our community and our nation. We laid to rest Officer Michaels from Clinton. We've had real issues and real problems in Charlottesville. We've buried a Marine, Sergeant Talon. These issues all are bigger than we are and more important than anything that we think is important. So we pause tonight again to reflect and remember these families, the comrades of Sergeant Talon, the fellow officers of Officer Michael and the community that he served, and the larger nation tonight who grieves again of 10 sailors missing on the USS McCain. I pray, Lord, that the outcome will be according to your will. I pray, Lord, for that ship and the US military who maintains the vigil, Lord, tonight collectively to defend the Constitution and keep this nation both safe and free and the cost is high. For the officer who give his life and way too often, this happens in America where police officers are attacked, harmed, or killed. I pray in your name, Lord, that this kind of violence ceases, that we can be productive people who work together to help achieve a greater good. Thank you for the community that we live in, where we work hand in hand every day. We're not perfect, but we know you are and we follow you and we seek to live for you. In that light, Lord, we lift up this session tonight, our mayor and council persons and all those who administer and lead this city and departments, which certainly will include our first responders, our police officers and firefighters and all of those who come to us in time of accident, trouble, or need. I pray as far as the city family perpetually for those that need your daily care. I lift up Gabriel, Mr. Moore, Mr. and Mrs. Reclu, Mr. Chilin, Mayor Benton, Chief Myers, and all others in the city family who need your daily touch. Lord, bless this session tonight and lead it, and may the discussions and decisions that are made be pleasing to you. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you again, Pastor. At the beginning of every council meeting, we set aside a time for those who are not on the agenda to, uh, and would like to share uh, some comments with the council to, uh, to do that. And at this time, I would... Uh, Call anyone for anyone present who would like to visit with the council over an issue to come forward. The council will not respond at this time, but may do so later in the meeting. Uh, so, therefore, is anyone present who would like to come and address the council? Seeing no one coming forward, we'll move on with the agenda then. Thank you. Our next item is the approval of the consent agenda. Those items on the consent agenda and that are scheduled as of now are the approval of the council minutes of July 25th and of August the 8th and the acceptance of the director administration report for July. Also the acknowledgement of the following board and commission reports, Historic Preservation, Public Utility Board and Human Rights Commission. So at this time, it, I'll ask if there's anyone that, who would like to take a, one of those items off the agenda, or otherwise I'd entertain a motion for approval of the consent agenda, which all those items would be approved upon. Motion for approval. Mayor, I'd like to request the Director of Administration's report be removed from the consent agenda. I have two questions. Very good. Thank you. Director of Administration report has been removed. We will treat that next. Uh, 
Any, anything else anyone would like to have taken off? Okay. Mr. Mayor? Yes. I don't think I need it taken off, but I would point out on human rights the, about the Jane Beatham and Fike Humanitarian Award that uh, thanks to your help that we have partnered with the county. I just let people be aware of that and they can read that in a minute. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a positive move. Anytime that we can do something in conjunction with the county, it's, it's a good thing, I believe. Okay. Uh, so I think I had a motion for second. approval. And I have a second. <coughs> okay, very good. Thank you. All those in favor of approving the consent agenda, please signify by saying yes. 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 All those opposed, no. <coughs> okay, thank you. Consent agenda stands approved. Well, now I'll uh, consider the uh, Director of Administration report for July. Uh, again, I understand, Mr. Stone, you had some questions. Yeah. I had two questions on sure. the uh, report from the Director of Utilities. Part of your report talked about three areas that had to be repaired for wiring that's underground but not in conduit. And I was just wondering how big of a risk do we have of additional okay. problems in that type of area? If you go back in history and the underground wire started first being put in the ground, it's primary wire, not service wire. Okay. How we do it now is we put it in conduit and then the primary wire is dielectrically covered, then the neutral wires on it, and then it is covered also. We do have some old wire in town that the neutral wire does not have the coating, and those have been found with time. And one weekend we had three spots. Um, we've been changing it out over time. Uh, one nursing home we did a couple years ago, we probably got a half a dozen spots left to, to work out. Um, the area Mr. Shiner lives in is one of the three that went out, and that's that's what it is. I think he was home, probably saw him dig it up. Oh yeah, went out and talked to him then. So that's one of the spots. We do have a new bore machine that the council was good enough to buy this year—a small bore machine that we can use for some of that also. Okay. So it's it's the older neighborhoods that was built in the late '60s, early '70s, mm -hmm. and uh, we've identified three, and we've got locate started on those to. Uh, to take care of it. Uh, Mr. Johnson's neighborhood was another one that went out. So we're whittling down, we're getting them down to a few of them. There's still be a bunch of wire that's not in conduit, but it's jacketed. So that seems to be holding up very well. So that's the story on that. Is it enough of a concern to go after any of these proactively or just deal with them as we have? We're just dealing issues. with them as we as we come to them. Uh, there's, there's a couple spots that We've never had to splice it yet, and there's some that's got one splice. A lot of it has to do with soil conditions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the some soil's more acidic than others. That's true. So we're working through them, and as I said, we, we did do the nursing home. You know, that was a critical area, so we got that out. So I think now most of it's subdivisions and things of that nature, short runs. Mm -hmm. Your report also discussed the smart grid. Can you just give us a? That's on the agenda. That's on the agenda. That's on the agenda. Thank Anything you. else? Thank you. No, thank you. May I? Yes, Mr. Mayor. Uh, Mr. Hudson, you show four homes for permits. Uh, these are single family homes? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Well, one of them is an eight plex out on the north end of town. Okay. And the others are all single family dwellings. Great. That's. Yeah. Cool. That's a change in what we've seen for the last several years. Yeah, yeah we're, it's, it's unusual. Yeah. You know, it's great. Well, let's hope it's a trend. You bet. And could we start seeing the um, the health inspector reports again? Here? Sure, if you want to see it. What's that everybody else think? Yeah, think it's kind of, at times I would like to. That's kind of an important thing to see, I think. So if you yeah, you told me it was always in the newspaper. Yeah, we don't do that anymore. It's in the newspaper, anymore. but we'll certainly get it for if you want it. Les, I noticed they got that house down on Wood Street. Yes, sir. Uh, and we're taking one down tomorrow down on Locust Street. Okay. Is it coming down tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You betcha. It's been a long process. It is a long process. And they always will be. 
<laughs> it's, it's not going to get to be a shorter process. You can't do sure. it. There's too many laws involved, too many things you've got to do, too many hoops to jump through. <laughs> Les, I'd like to commend the young lady you got working for you. Thank She's you. done an excellent job out there. Good. Thank you. Appreciate She's got a great personality. And she, she loves nice her job. job. A, she, she loves her job. She has one of the toughest jobs in the city. Yeah, yeah. She makes everybody mad. <laughs> she, can, well. she, she can climb trees. I watched her. Yeah, she, <laughs> she does a nice job. And I will pass it along. Yeah. You bet. Uh -huh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to ask uh, Chief Colfeld a question, too. Nice ring to it. It does. Yeah. <coughs> you mentioned uh, three fires, and one of them we had a fatality. Uh, yes, we did have a fatality in one. Okay. Um, we 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 arrived on scene, had a heavy heavy fire uh, coming out of the structure. Uh, we had to hit the fire from the outside first, then made our way in, and we located one uh, victim inside. We were able to get him out through a window, but was not able to revive him. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sure that's an emotional situation for you guys. The, did a really guys. good job. Yeah. Do we have? Uh, it says it's under investigation. We have any more updates on? Oh, calls we're still anything? waiting on the autopsy reports, toxicology. Okay. It, it takes uh, several weeks. Um, so we haven't had an official report yet. So we have a fire marshal investigating this. Say fire marshal investigate that, or yeah. that uh, normally it? any fatality fires or uh, major fires, I'll call the state fire marshal in to investigate with our investigators, and along with Fulton Police Department as well. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, it's been a long time since I can't remember the last time we've had a fatality in a, in a fire. So. Mm -hmm. um, uh, well, we actually had one. Uh, uh, about a year and a half, two years ago as well. Oh, but, yeah. Okay. Maybe it just wasn't pointed out. Yeah. Okay. It's sad. Well, thanks for your guys for doing what they do. It's really a Thank help to the community. Thank right. you, Chief. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else have anything for the uh, Director of Administration report? If not, I'd entertain a motion of approval or acceptance. Motion to accept. Second. Thank you. I have a motion and a second to accept the director's administration report. Uh, please signify. If you're in favor, please signify saying yes. 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 All those opposed, no. Thank you. The director's administration report is accepted. Okay, thank you. Now we'll move on to uh, <laughs> presentation uh, the financial report for July. Ms. Holslog's with us. And she'll give us her wisdom. Thank you. First thing I'll tell you is our sales tax was up 1.65%, which is, I believe, good, because we're not falling back as much as we typically do. Um, and I think I noted in the general fund that we realized $26,000 on that oil, oiler truck that uh, the council approved that we could sell. So that was a plus. It was fully depreciated, so we reported the entire amount as a gain. The airport bought a load of fuel in the amount of $26,000 this month, and I filed for a $204,000 reimbursement for the wastewater treatment plan improvements. Good. And other than that, it was pretty much business as usual. Is there a lifetime on this airport fuel? Is it good for just so many months or indefinitely or what? We probably buy two two loads a year. Okay. That's, so so it all goes in the same tank, so it all gets mixed. And mm -hmm. I there's just not, thought that sounded like that. There's not an like expiration date. All right. That's what I wanted. That's a lot of money, and I was just wondering. What. Yeah. Okay. It's a little bit higher than gas. Yeah. It looks like sales are up, too, from what it says here, right? Mm -hmm. and if I read that right, I've lost it. Oh, yeah, because you just said it. Well, Revenue one, almost double. Oh, and uh, fuel sales at the airport? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's what. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And electric funds increased by $200,000, I think, mm -hmm. in July. That's it. Okay. Any other questions? Not any other questions for Ms. Holslager. Entertain motion for approval 
So motion moved. for approval. Second. Thank you. I have a motion and a second for approval of the operating statements for the month of July. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying yes. 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 All those opposed, no. Those uh, financial reports stand Thank approved. You, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we entertain the unfinished business and smart grid update. Who's going to do that one? You want <laughs> Ms. Cassie to do it? Okay. Yeah, she's got your chair. Short straw. <laughs> Roller <laughs> skates. I will tell you that as far as the billing process goes, we actually have, I think, six routes that we have deployed electric, gas, and water. <clears throat> so we are using those six routes in the test database to try and import the meter reads from Tantalus. We have been successful in that endeavor. And so we're in the process of doing some parallel billing for those routes compared to what our meter readers read. That's where we're at. Okay. There was a note in there about some some data mismatch that dropped the first. Oh, that's on the yeah. gas meters. And oh, that, gas. yes, okay. that is a Tantalus issue. They are working on it. To date, I have not heard from their programmers to tell me they've remedied the problems. I believe it was one of those situations where a couple months ago we had an issue with some of the gas meters were reporting an extra leading digit. Mm -hmm. So they wrote a patch to fix that. Well, it fixed more than that because <laughs> now we have other gas meters that aren't picking up the first digit. Wow. So, is that affecting our billing since our billing does? I can pr they're only the large commercial meters. Okay. So I know which ones they Pick are. Them up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a limited number of them. I think Daryl and I talked about it, and I believe there's maybe 150 of those meters citywide. But out of just six routes, we're not talking a large number. Oh, and I was th that's. The gas was everywhere, didn't no. <coughs> Just the large meters. meters. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we uh, haven't deployed all the gas meters. Okay. So what about the water misreads? Has that been taken care of? Or is that commercial as well? I would say offhand we probably, water is the toughest one to pull. Just by the nature of the beast, they're in a pit in the ground. And, you know, so we, there's probably not as high. I would hesitate to give you a number on what the percentage is of water reads that we get mm -hmm. um, pulling them from Tantalus. I believe it would be the same regardless of the source of the electronic read. But it's not critical. It's not to the point where we have to have so many rereads that it's not worth. Well, it just said here a high number of water misreads, and I just wondered exactly what does that mean? Well, misreads means that they they pull in the wrong read. Mm -hmm. Where are you reading that? I'm sorry. She's referencing the utility board minutes. Oh, okay. And the consent agenda. Oh, well, that was from Canada. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have more water than anything else. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's pretty much where we're at. If anybody has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Any other questions for Ms. Kathy? Thank you for that update. Pretty Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Well, we'll now move on to uh, new business. And uh, looks like we're going to do uh, autumn on the bricks. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. It's coming up pretty quick here. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Gary, we'll, we're, we're pleased <laughs> to have you with us. Yeah. Well, thank you, Mayor, yeah. Bill, Council. I'm. Um, I came here on behalf of the Art House is the one who uh, receives all the funding for this. This is our fourth annual uh, Autumn on the Bricks. But I'm also representing the Brick District. And um, for those of you who don't know, you know, the Brick District basically is the, uh, it helped build the Art House, which has now been a very well success, uh, as well as um, I, I would say that I think a lot of things in the Brick District have, uh, uh, over the years, I've, the years I've been around since 93 in the Brick District, I've uh, seen very much positive things going on in the last few years, really pushing forward. And that's due to thanks to the, the city um, and all they do and all the people that we have that are getting involved. So basically I'm here, I think they're in the packet. 
uh, someone had sent, and I wasn't the one who wrote this in the packet, but um, someone sent, uh, and it's the needs or wants. I have it right here. I, I don't have a piece I can't print right now. <laughs> I have to do this. But um, uh, in the packet, you'll see a, you, you will see some of the wants and needs, and I've seen like a scoop of sand and such, and that's for the children's area. Um, it's going to be October the 14th. The things that's not written on there that I need to let show, and I did talk to, I haven't talked to the fire chief, um, that we will be closing off some of the streets, sir. Um, and I can get with that with you, but um, exactly where it will be. But we do know and we'll, we'll uh, abide by all the rules we always have before by keeping one lane open during the Court Street area so we can have uh, room for emergency vehicles and that such to get to Court Street. Uh, we're not closing that much of it off. I know, um, I know up to, uh, close to the, the theater and then down to the Fifth Street area. It also incorporates the farmer's market that day as well. Um, the other thing that's not written on here is um, we were asked for alcohol to be sold out there. We'll be selling alcohol. Um, there'll be, we'll, we ourselves are selling some of it. Uh, that'll be benefits to the art house. Uh, we'll get all the, all the permits, all the licenses needed to get that done um, on part of that. And uh, all, on uh, the other thing that's on there is there's, we'll have distilleries. You know how we do the Mar Mar Morels and Microbrew? There are a number of, I call them craft distilleries throughout the state. And we're kind of doing something different. They're going to come and share some of their uh, spirits, I should say. Um, I use the word carefully, moonshine, all those things, because uh, <laughs> Chief's not here. And I did talk to the Chief of Police. He's very much in favor of this. I did was on the phone with him. So he is aware of the alcohol and, um, and where we're going to be and when we're shutting it down and such. Um, I'm just asking for permission to do this fourth <laughs> annual um, Autumn on the Bricks. Uh, I think it's a big thing. Number one, Southern Living just came out. We were, I think, I don't know if anybody's seen that on the council, that we got, what, top ten yep. of the best small towns to visit. And, you know, I, I don't know. That's, that's pretty awesome in my mind. And uh, on that, they have a blog that says Autumn on the Bricks, and they're talking about that. So that's our upcoming festival. And I don't know how they're, much the readers kind of come into this, but I think it's a, it's a big thing that we need to go forth. And, um, and, 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 and uh, I think it's going to get better every year. We have a really good group. Jerry Bell is the one who uh, chairs this, uh, uh, the, the whole board and the committee on this. And so I, I feel very confident that this is going to be our best year ever. So I'm asking for permission to uh, see the, you see the needs and wants. And if I have any questions, I'd love to ask, answer now if I have the answer. I have one question. Sure. Does the city need a copy? It says an insurance will be provided to the city. Normally do you, you do. That? Yeah, we get that. Yes. Okay. Normally you do. Automatically do, do that. Yes, um, uh, we've did several. I think Morels and Microbrew and any of the other things that we'll have, uh, we definitely get. Uh, you know, they get a liability insurances and, okay. and, and make sure that uh, anybody here who is selling, there might be some of the people who may be coming into the distillery and selling, they will also have to show proof of insurance and liability okay. as well. So we'll make sure that that's all uh, with the city. Okay. Thanks. Yes. One scoop of sand. What size scoop and what for? <laughs> you know, that might be um, uh, a question I would uh, regulate to uh, further down, but I, I, would, I, I did not write this, and I, as I was proofreading prior to me getting here, I was like, ooh, you know, there were several things that I yeah, didn't know. Uh, a scoop of sand, and I, I'm not saying it won't be a small scoop. <laughs> I think it's a this scoop or just this scoop. I'm just going to relish the thing, maybe like a bobcat size, you know, like a, you know, and I, and I don't know how many that would be, a couple cubic feet, you know, cubic I'm yards. Sure. I don't know what that ends up being, and I apologize for not no, having the no, answer for you in front fine. of you. But I, I don't, I think it's just enough for the kids to play on, and yeah. it's not going to be a huge, it won't be the big, you know, what they have at the quarries type scoop because <laughs> no, uh, we'll be a mess we'll picking be that up. We, we have to get this cleaned up. So, yeah, it, I think uh, if I assume, you know, like a bobcat has that one yeah, size and, I'm a, and and apologize for not knowing what that size no, would be, okay. but that's, I, I am assuming that's what all we're asking for. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Gary? Yes, Steve. What is your definition of police protection? Um, I need p police protection the whole day. I don't know. <laughs> um, um, I, you know what? I don't think that, I, and, I, and I've seen that worded as well, and that's not the worded, and I think I would have probably chose at the point. Um, actually, uh, in a, if, I, if I were to ask it, sometimes we have uh, police presence. And, and when I mean presence, I just mean it's nice to have some of the officers down there just in case 
It's, it, it, it shows it shows a lot that they're involved in number two one because I don't think there's going to foresee any problems, but you never know. There may be one person that's not tolerable to what we're wanting and can be removed from the right. scene. Sure. I like your word better. I was just wondering. I, 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 yeah. yeah. So. Your word better. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It says the proceeds go to the, the art house. Is that a not-for-profit? Um, it is a not-for-profit, okay. and, it, and, it, and it has been set up that way all along. We, we, we knew from the beginning, and, and, and when we did that, there was, there was actually a number of us, there was five or six, I don't know, that we put our money into it and built it, and then once it reaches that point, it's paid for itself. We didn't have any truly amount of money going in. We just made sure that we have credit. So we, we knew that we, privately we weren't going to have anybody want to do it, so we had to kind of group it together, and we did it, and it's been a success. So we're overseeing it, still makes it's making money. It's, it's even got enough money to pay, you know, a small-time director at a small point. We're, we're still looking for that particular person okay. over time. So it is a non-for-profit, okay. and, and, um, and I, I don't know what 501c3 it falls under. I think we probably under a parent right now. I don't think we have our own yet. I think I, I'm sure Tom Riley can answer that question that's of where we're sitting, but we are. I know we are a non-for-profit. Okay, I thought we were past that time, but okay, that's fine. Yep. I guess I could go on forever. I just didn't know. All right, mm -hmm. that's all I had, sir. So Mary's the only one that stumped him. He said he knew them all. <laughs> I didn't stump him. I just how big a scoop. scoop. <laughs> <laughs> I just want my police protection. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll <get you> I <laughs> move for approval of the autumn on the bricks and I on October fourteenth. And I will second it. Very good. I have a motion to second to. Approve the autumn on the breakfast <laughs> event for October the 14th. Uh, all those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying yes. 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 All those opposed, no. Very good. Thank Time you very much, approved. Council. Thank Mayor, you, Bill. Thank you. Good to see you Have one more time. time. Yeah, nice to see you. Yeah. Very good. We'll now move on to discussion of the 2018 budget. Uh, seems like it's awful early in the year, but we're going there. So well, that's what I'm going to say. You stole my speech. <laughs> um, Rob has been working on it a lot, and we've been reviewing it, and we're just not ready to say, provide or show you anything yet. Um, you know, the next council meeting will be the uh, fourth week in September. We don't have a first meeting in September because of the MML, so it's going to be literally a month until we get together again. By that time, we will have a document. Um, with Rob leaving, Kathy and I will be finishing it up and doing what we can and getting some numbers together and providing with the document. Okay. Alrighty? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions for Mr. Johnson on that? Okay, very good. <clears throat> it's now that time uh, for uh, you as council members to bring any item forward. Uh, excuse me. The, that you'd like to discuss that is not already included on the agenda. And uh, let me start with, <coughs> well, excuse me, Mr. Shilin, you want to pass? Yes. Thank you. Mr. West. Nothing for me today. Mr. Clue. Nope, nothing today. Thank you. Mr. Stone. Just two thank yous. The procession for Town and Leach was absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. The turnout that this community, including the city of Fulton departments, was nothing but outstanding. Thanks to everybody who had anything to do with that, whether you were doing it on city time or private time. It was perfect. And then I want to thank Rob. I believe this is our last city council meeting where you're officially so, with us. You <laughs> sit over there next, next time. time. But thank you, you for your service. <laughs> Here, here. Very good. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay. Let me move on down. This is great. Yeah, I have a lot of trivial things, but number one, express to the chief our concerns over his uh, mother's surgery, and we hope she does very well. Yeah. Evidently, an individual has a lot of time because they got on uh, Fulton homepage, and they said they did not find under departments a listing for the animal shelter. 
and also they looked for a mission statement. They said they found one for the police department and other entities, but nothing for the city of Fulton. Um, there is a hole in the street at Fifth and Ravine right by Central Bank that is told to me that it's nice size and it's deep. And um, where the splash pad is, across from it is that grassy area. And this person was complaining that the electrical department hangs up banners. Could we not put some poles there to where you could hang your own banners up? I don't see that happening, but anyway, I'm just expressing what they had to suggest. Thank you. Um, Consider I think yeah, that, that looks like that's about it. Okay. Mm. okay. <clears throat> Very good. Other than the fact I want to complain to <clears throat> the article read in the newspaper about these tiny houses, I still don't like that I did at all. So. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Mr. Rollin. The last answer of mine will go. Okay. Thank you. Mr. I Wall. have not one thing, Mayor. You probably excited. <laughs> <laughs> Better put that in the record book. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Next. Next. Okay. Next. Okay. I'm done. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. awesome. Ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. So now I'll move on to uh, resolutions. Our first resolution is resolution thirty two eighty nine, which is a resolution that uh, uh, has to do with a local law enforcement block grant uh, authorizing the signature on that with the Department of uh, Public Safety. It's for our police department. Uh, Councilman Stone, would you please present resolution 3289? Mr. Mayor, I present resolution number 3289. A resolution authorizing the mayor on behalf of the city of Fulton, Missouri to make application and sign all necessary documents to apply for a local law enforcement block grant from the Missouri Department of Public Safety. I make a motion to adopt resolution 3289 at this council meeting. Second. Very good, thank you. I have a motion and a second to adopt resolution number 3289. <laughs> Is there any discussion of that motion or of the item? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please think by saying yes. 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 All those opposed, no. Very good, 3289 stands approved. We'll now move on to ordinances. First reading uh, ordinance is bill number 1480, which has to do with the authorization of, uh, or reauthorization, I guess we'd say, of, of our sewer revenue bonds, which we've been drawing on for some time. Oh no, I'm sorry, this is a series of 2015, so. Okay, uh, looks like we're gonna save some money because the state found a way to drop some charges on that, uh, those bonds. So, uh, Councilman Chiland, would you please introduce bill number 1480 for first reading? Bill number 1480, an ordinance, amending ordinance 14, 01-15 authorizing the issuance of not to exceed $13 million principal amount of surge system revenue bonds, State of Missouri loan program, series 2015 of the city of Fulton, Missouri. I move that Bill 1480 be voted on at tonight's meeting for passage to the second, second, next, next regular meeting. Second. Very good. I have a motion and a second to advance bill number 1480. Uh, are, is there any questions on that motion? Everyone understand what's going on? Okay, very good. All those in favor of advancing bill number 1480, please signify by saying yes. 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 All those opposed, no. Very good. Bill number 1480 advances for second reading next meeting. We'll now consider second reading ordinances. Uh, bill number 1478 is a, uh, authorizes a contract between uh, the assessor's office and uh, the city of Fulton. 
Councilwoman Reclue, would you please uh, present 14 numbers 1478 by title only, second reading. Yes, I'd like to also do third reading if it's okay tonight. Sure. Okay. Right. Bill number 1478, an ordinance authorizing the mayor and city clerk on behalf of the city of Fulton, Missouri, to execute a contract with the assessor and county commission of Callaway County, Missouri, relating to the preparation of assessment lists and establishing an effective date. Uh, I make a motion to place bill number 1478 uh, for its third reading at tonight's meeting. Second. We're good. I have a motion and a second to uh, advance bill number 1478 for third reading. Uh, any discussion of that motion? Hearing no discussion, all those in favor of advancing 1478, please signify saying yes. 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 All those opposed, no. Okay, very good. Thank you. Councilwoman Reclue, would you please present 1478 for third reading? Yes. Uh, bill number 1478, an ordinance authorizing the mayor and city clerk on behalf of the city of Fulton, Missouri, to execute a contract with the assessor and county commissioner of Callaway County, Missouri, relating to the <clears throat> preparation of assessment lists and establishing an effective date. I make a motion to uh, uh, place, uh, place bill number 1478 for final passage at tonight's meeting. Second. Thank you. I have a motion and second to advance uh, 1478 to final consideration. Uh, any further discussion of that motion? <coughs> Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying yes. 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 All those opposed, no. <coughs> Very good, thank you. 1478 is now, uh, we've read it three times, it's been presented three times. It's uh, time for final consideration, and I'll ask that you uh, answer roll call by yes or no. Okay, Councilwoman Gray? Yes. Mr. Moore? Yes. Ms. Reclue? Yes. Mr. Shiverdecker? Yes. Mr. Stone? Yes. <clears throat> Mr. Vaughn? Yes. Mr. West? Yes. And Mr. Shiland? Yes. Eight council members affirmative. Very good, thank you. Bill number 1478 sounds approved. We'll now consider <laughs> Bill number 1479, which is an ordinance that establishes the tax rate for uh, the calendar year 2017 on uh, all uh, real taxable property in the city. Uh, Councilman Vaughn, would you please uh, present 1479 title only? Second reading. Bill number 1479, an ordinance fixing the tax rate and leveling leve leveling taxes for the calendar year 2017 on all taxable property in the city of Fulton and establish an effective date. I make a motion to place Bill 1479 for third reading at the next scheduled meeting. Second. Very good, I have a motion and a second to advance bill number 1479. I would like to point out really quickly, we actually do need to get that one approved before September 1st to get it turned over and certified to the county clerk. Oh, oh okay. If we could do third reading tonight. Yeah. Uh, it's fine with me, but we'll get a motion on the floor and second at it already, so we wanted mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm. Motion to amend. We would well, that motion. or I'd take a motion withdrawal. Withdrawal. Either way. Uh, I'll make a motion. Withdraw my second. Okay. okay. Thank you. The motion to approve bill number 1479 has uh, been withdrawn. Uh, Councilman Vaughn, would you please uh, present uh, yeah, that has to be done. 1479 for uh, second reading again, please. Bill number 1479, an ordinance fixing the tax rate and le levying taxes for the calendar year 2017 on all taxable property in the city of Fulton, Missouri, and establish an effective date. I make a motion to place Bill 1479 for third reading at tonight's council meeting. Second. Very good, thank you. I have a motion and a second to advance Bill number 1479 for third reading. Is there any further discussion of the motion? <coughs> Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying yes. 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 All those opposed, no. Very good, 1479 has been approved. And third reading, uh, Councilman Vaughn, would you please present uh, 1479 by title only. Bill number 1479, 
an ordinance fixing the tax rate and leveling taxes for calendar year 2017 on all taxable property in the city of Fulton, Missouri and establish an effective date. I make a motion to place Bill 1479 for final passage at this council meeting. Second. Very good, thank you. I have a motion second to uh, advance 1479 for final reading. Uh, all those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying yes. 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 All those opposed, no. Very good, thank you. You've heard bill number 1479 presented three times and it's now time for final uh, consideration. Uh, please answer yes or no to roll call. Mr. Moore? Yes. Ms. Reclue? Yes. Mr. Schiberdecker? Yes. Mr. Stone? Yes. Mr. Vaughn? Yes. Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Shiland? Yes. And Ms. Gray? Yes. Eight council members affirmative. Okay, very good, thank you. I believe that does it for ordinances. <coughs> we'll now move on to announcements. Madam Clerk, you wanna run through those? Sure. Um, the annual MML conference will be held September 10th through the 13th at Tantara. You have your final reservations, or as final as they are at this moment, um, at your stations. We have a note that City Council will hold a retreat during the MML conference. That has been changed effective today. We will not hold the charter retreat at the MML conference. It will be held as part of a work session during October. Okay. So disregard okay. that one. Okay. <clears throat> the yeah. next meeting of the City Council will be held Tuesday, September 26th at 6.30 p.m. The annual town and country dinner will be held on Thursday, September 28th at 5 p.m. at Showstock Outfitters in Kingdom City. Council members who wish to attend must RSVP with the city clerk by tonight. So if you do want to attend, please come see me at the end of the meeting. The Department of Conservation will hold a permit meeting on Thursday, August 31st, 2017 at 6 p.m. in the council chambers for citizens interested in obtaining <coughs> a permit to bow hunt on certain property within city limits. For more information, please contact Stephen Kistner, conservation agent at the number listed. The Mayor's Golf Tournament will be held Friday, September 8th at Tanglewood. For more information, contact Parks and Recreation. Um, MoDOT is going to be holding a public forum on Thursday, September 14th from 4 to 6 p.m. regarding the Business 54 Overlay and ADA Sidewalk Improvements Project. This forum will be held here in, the city, in city Hall in the Council Chambers. And lastly, the City of Fulton was awarded the SCBA Fire Department grant with federal portion of $182,000, I'm sorry, $182,858, with the city's cost share portion of $9,142. The grant and acceptance were approved by the city council in November of 2016, and congratulations to everyone who assisted yes. with that grant. Wonderful. One more. I have a question. When was it, what was that date on that MoDOT? Yeah, September 14th. Uh, September 14th. From 4 to 6. From 4, four to, to 6. six. What day of the week is that? A Thursday, I believe. Okay. Okay. Thank so you. we'll be back. Okay. Yeah. Um, one more. The city of Fulton no longer owns the old Wren property, the old Wren building, the approved auto on the south end of town. We, we got that sold. Which, yeah. which building? Which one now? Yeah. Approved, approved auto on the south end. Oh. Wren Olds. Good. We did a we did a lease purchase with them five years ago. Oh yeah. And it came to tuition and <clears throat> we closed on it last week. Good deal. A week ago today. Good. Yesterday. Oh, good. He's dead. That deserves another hand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thank, Thank you, Prue Donald. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, more. I want to say. Uh, should have said earlier, but I want to thank all the employees and the staff and y'all doing the clips to talk to people who were out of town, different states that came through our town. And uh, quite a few people are very impressed how well our community does look and appear to it. And so I want to give kudos to the staff because the golf course looked mowed nice and Jeremy's in ground. So there are people who looks around and uh, there's one family that is actually thinking about moving back closer to this area. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, you. I think uh, all the staff did an excellent job yesterday. And, yeah, they did. and uh, it was very impressive to 
to see the number of visitors that we had to our community, and uh, I thought it looked very well off. Thank you. Okay, uh, I'll take a entertain a motion. Second. I'll make a motion and we adjourn. Oh, I don't know who's going to do that. I don't know what to do. I didn't get it from Mr. Shiver. No, I know. <laughs> it's from Mr. Shiver today. All those in favor, stand up. There you go. All right.